uh, general discussion. Uh, we know that actually it, uh, in this afternoon uh, forum uh, we actually had a full overview of the climate problems of the best management uh, from uh, Japan, South Korea, Philippines, and Taiwan. Uh, for my own uh, curiosity is uh, actually maybe also your question. Uh, do the governments in those countries have very clear roadmap of climate uh, governance? Yeah, we announced at the, the that's the question that, uh, that how government uh, announced uh, NDC yeah, before COP21 in 2015 uh, that uh, we planned uh, our CO2 emissions yeah, reduced uh, in 2030 to the baseline of 2005 minus 20 percent. This is about uh, 230 million tons. But uh, in our view, or sometimes we criticize our government, we even uh, don't have very clear how we actually yeah, yeah, launch the very big both, yeah, important yeah, parts because it's related to energy, related to yeah, uh, energy intensive industry, also related to energy saving, related to energy sufficiency. Yeah. Those issues are everything uh, yeah, proposed by every speaker. So I think this is a very important, very key issue uh, yeah, in those countries. Yeah. Even我說現在台灣哦,我們工作這裡哦,大概是這個經費全國,全國的面會都工作這裡哦,這邊那邊給我們給我這裡哦,我們都不會。any kinds of the DPP government or KMT government or the yeah, we party government with their potential in the future. Huh? Okay. So uh, we uh, everyone can you know uh, you know give your opinion or the, yeah, your question to our speaker. Please. Two concepts is disaster issue and climate change issue. The two issues are strongly related, but as uh, Professor Abayo said, um, disaster uh, response policy can be first, and climate change policy is just a long term policy. But actually, the main reason of the disaster is um, the climate change uh, by uh, anthropogenic gases. So, do you have any idea or uh, in your country is there any activity to combine two, two different issues and to open the policy windows um, for the climate change mitigation and adaptation? So, um, Professor Ho Ching Li um, yeah, pointed out that uh, policy window is very important for climate change issues. So um, in Taiwan, in um, Japan, or in Philippines, can you discuss um, the uh, combining of the two issues? That's my question. Okay. In the Philippines, we do have uh, policy issues and programs on climate change what mitigation. Uh, I didn't discuss that, but I agree with uh, Dr. Ku that this, these are two issues that are related and it has to be addressed at the same time. Um, what I discuss is DRR, and that's the short term. There are also long term. Yes, the Philippines are doing long term, but I have to tell you that it's really very 
very slow or we're addressing this gradually. Uh, and because, like I said, the consciousness for climate change is very low in the country. That is why uh, Professor Chu earlier said that all oh, the Philippines did uh, this energy transition, this addressing energy transition is so late. And that is true. Very, very late. We're addressing this very late because that consciousness is still there. That uh, with climate change, you have to address it in the gravity of disaster for people and even politicians to realize that. Look at the situation for traffic and carbon emission in Manila and elsewhere in the Philippines. Um, many politicians would not look at that as, um, as an, an urgent concern because they use other mechanisms for transport, which is why they don't use the daily, the daily routine. Our public transport is, is, is the, our president is trying to address this now, but we're still very slow in terms of action. Um, and, it, it, and this all boils down to behavioral change. Now, behavioral change is something that also is a problem in, in, in climate change actions. Um, People who implement this will have to address that behavioral change before we look into that. So we have a climate change commission in the Philippines. We have a climate change commission and they are now overpowered in terms of action by the DRRM commission because the DRRM is now you know, very proactive and is receiving a lot of support from local institutions and communities and climate change somehow has been overpowered by that action because of this rush of trying to address the immediate concern and thinking that this, that this kind of addressing will also help in the mitigation of climate change. So that's my, that's my immediate view of that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, Ho Chi Minh referred the uh, Sendai framework on the R block. Yeah, Sendai is my city. Yeah. So uh, I participated uh, this conference, yeah. Yeah. and uh, the reason uh, this conference uh, was held in Sendai because of uh, uh, 311 disaster in 2011. Uh, yeah, our area is uh, just a uh, uh, center of uh, 311 uh, tsunami disaster. Uh, so, uh, uh, Japan and uh, Taiwan uh, uh, are sharing a lot of things, uh, especially uh, uh, related to disaster. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, earthquakes and uh, 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 so many typhoons <laughs> every year. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah. so uh, on disaster uh, in my uh, image European countries are uh, very few uh, natural disasters except Italia except Italy uh, and uh, yeah, Japan also has a lot of volcano. Uh, so, uh, please remember uh, very big disasters in these 20 years. Uh, so, yeah, uh, our uh, East Asian countries share uh, 
uh, runs out disasters, natural disasters, yeah. Uh, remember the uh, Philippines very big typhoon in 2013, uh, yeah, November, I remember, yeah. Me, uh, yeah. Uh, some uh, uh, natural floods in uh, South Korea. So, uh, uh, so uh, we have so many natural disasters. Uh, some of the disasters, especially uh, big typhoon and uh, heavy uh, uh, rain, uh, 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 yeah, such a very closely related to uh, climate change. But uh, volcano and the earthquake, no direct relationship uh, with climate change. Yeah, yeah. It's not human So, uh, one of my idea on uh, sustainable uh, uh, society or sustainable uh, development uh, 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 disaster uh, 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 resilience, yeah. Uh, resilient, building uh, resilience uh, community is very important. Yeah, I think. Uh, so. Uh, from the uh, East Asian perspective, uh, we should uh, stress uh, the importance of such a building uh, disaster uh, resilient uh, community. Uh, Professor uh, uh, who uh, uh, yeah, he is very uh, critical on uh, uh, the idea of uh, answer. <laughs> Anthropocentrism. Yeah, anthropocentrism. But uh, uh, I'm a little bit uh, answer. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, from uh, 3-11 disaster, yeah. uh, it's a very uh, tough uh, experience uh, for me and other uh, uh, Japanese. So, uh, 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 human-oriented uh, uh, perspective uh, 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 will improve uh, uh, other, uh, uh, animals and uh, plants. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, I agree uh, about uh, today's uh, point. Yeah. Uh, the DRR uh, is very direct, uh, very short time uh, goal to uh, tackle uh, for us, and uh, climate change is a very long way uh, uh, to. 2030 and 2050 and uh, uh, and more. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how we cross link uh, these issues at uh, uh, global and regional and national and uh, yeah, community. Yeah. Uh, so, 
uh, we need to uh, collaborate yeah, each other from uh, this Asian uh, shared uh, perspective. Okay, thank you for your question. <clears throat> Actually, uh, Mayor Park Wan Sun was a um, former uh, civil society movement organization activist. So she, uh, he has very uh, lots of friends and information concerning civil society movement. Uh, we call it Chamyeo Yamde, Solidarity for Participation. Um, so when he won the election of the Seoul Metropolitan Government Mayor, and lots of his um, friends and his colleagues participated in the policy making process. And so the one less nuclear policy was uh, made from the first stage of policy making. Lots of NGOs, of environmentalists, and civil society movement activists participated in the policy making. And the most important thing is um, he really focused on the, um, the local based um, energy conservation movement. We have some movement of um, ecolo um, new, uh, energy independence uh, village movement in uh, Seoul area after Fukushima disaster. So many citizens are very worried about the uh, nuclear power plant and they thought that we need to uh, conserve energy and electricity. So they are trying to mobilize the energy conservation movement and making uh, cooperatives for uh, solar power plant um, by themselves. So those the bottom up movement and uh, um, top down policy was combined in Seoul metropolitan government. So we um, evaluate that policy process is very democratic and participatory uh, process. Okay, thank you. So we still have uh, seven minutes yeah. Yeah. Uh, for discussion. Yeah. If you have any questions. Uh, hello. Uh, my question is, uh, it's, it's nice to hear about how all four countries are doing different kind of um, initiatives to make better uh, in regard to climate change. And I'm curious to see or to understand and hear your opinions on how the four countries uh, can work together to face the change as one, as together, uh, from different levels. There's the policy level, there's the private sector, um, there's the NGOs, and also uh, what you just mentioned, the public. 
I'm curious to see, um, or to, to listen to your opinions to see how uh, within the region of Central or in, or in the um, Asian region, that how we can work together to help each other to face the climate change issue. Thank you. It's a big, big question. Actually, <laughs> so, so this is a goal that uh, today we invited to, uh, the scholar coming to Taipei. Tomorrow we will we still have uh, at, uh, 12 the scholar from different countries in Asia. Yeah, we try to actually organize the platform. So not only have the platform, we try to. Uh, engage more words. <laughs> you know? oh, oh, quick, then let me talk just one point. Okay. Actually, in Korea, we have a very serious air pollution uh, problem issue. Mm -hmm. uh, so the finest uh, issue in Korea. So the anti-coal power movement activists in local area raised that issue, and they combined the air pollution issue and the uh, uh, phasing out coal power plant issue. Uh, two, two issues was combined. They mobilized the air pollution issue for the stopping construction of the coal power uh, plant in their area. So it was very successful in at the policy window for uh, presidential election in 2017. Uh, so Moon uh, got the office Presidency, and after that, he declared to canceling the coal power uh, plant in the uh, Chungnam province. So it is can be a uh, one solution uh, to combine air pollution issue and phasing out coal power plant issue, and we can uh, we need to go for the more safe and um, uh, renewable energy. That's my uh, one one answer. Okay, thank you. Any comment, question? Yeah. Actually, even we noticed uh, in Thailand, in Philippines, they had the uh, anti coal movement related to climate change issue. We are similar to South Korea. Our anti air pollution issue related to uh, our anti coal issue related to uh, air pollution issue, this different type. I don't know what they yeah, are called that in, in, ja in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's a, we had to, it's a, to, in Asia region, to, I usually said we had to, many common transboundary risk issue, food issue, air pollution issue, disaster issue, even food issue climate change issue, energy power and transition issue. Many issues that actually occur in this region. And uh, our governmental you know, uh, mentality is that um, it's not towards the social democracy. So the democratic uh, yeah, pathway to uh, actually development aspect. Yeah, economic, very important. Economic, very important. Every day we say economic, yeah, there are no, no salary, yeah, no. No energy price, yeah, no water price. Yeah, I think that occurred in, in this region. So it's a package, just a yeah, package in actually yeah, growing in, in Asian countries. So it, uh, if you are ambitious, you, you have to organize your young guy, yeah, yeah, young, young, young people, yeah, to make the, the platform try to change yeah, the situation, yeah, as our young colleague asked him. Yeah. Yeah, you can make uh, yourself as a very important initiative. Okay, this question, okay? A question for Dr. Hanshaw. I think it was a minor amount of the The one that's actually achieving uh, uh, the helping. What are the countries that come on this call? You guys the only country that is achieving uh, decoupling. Okay? So at the same time, you talk, you talk about how um, Japan has no proper pricing, and there is also no uh, cap and trade schemes. And so I'm curious like, how is Japan able to achieve this? Is that a good question? So how is Japan achieving decoupling without uh, cover pricing and cabinetry schemes. Oh, 
Economic uh, incentive to uh, to the business sector is very important, and uh, uh, yeah, carbon pricing and uh, uh, cap and trade system uh, yeah is uh, very uh, uh, working. Uh, yeah. We have a lot of uh, evidence in European countries, yeah. but uh, Japanese industry uh, hate and want to escape, uh, introduce uh, such a, a very strict uh, regulation. So only a, a, they want to keep uh, voluntary action plan. Uh, and uh, so, within government, Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of uh, Media, uh, Economy, Trade and Industry uh, 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 are battling. Yeah. And uh, Ministry of Economy are uh, much more influential rather than Ministry of Environment. And especially in Japan, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, yeah, WWF Japan and Greenpeace uh, uh, Japan and uh, Friends of Earth Japan, yeah, they are trying to push in uh, such a strict uh, regulatory system on climate change policy, but. Uh, their uh, political influences are relatively weak. And uh, uh, related, related to uh, coal fired plant, one of the problems of Japanese government and industry, uh, they are uh, 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 they are uh, uh, supporting and investing. Uh, coal-fired plant in Indonesia and uh, other uh, East Asian countries. Yeah. This is very uh, a critical point, I think. So, the situation occurred also in Taiwan. Yeah. Our industry don't like energy gas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, sure. Ma. So actually, <laughs> I don't know what occurred in South Korea. You know, <laughs> maybe similar. Maybe similar. <laughs> you know, we have a similar industry. You know, we have similar problem. We have similar people. Maybe that Koichi uh, escaped uh, me uh, many times. Why is the civil society in Taiwan so strong? The civil society in Taiwan is not so strong. Just uh, yeah, they had actually all yeah uh, superficially is very strong, but actually it's very vulnerable. You know, every civil society group, we have the target here. Yeah, every civil society group has only several key person who engage a lot of uh, effort, but you know, very. So uh, the, the overall, I would like to say that uh, in our region. Uh, if we don't have a main, uh, we don't have the clear roadmap of the climate change governance or the uh, disaster management, yeah, past weight. Actually, our society, yeah, we, we have become vulnerable, vulnerable and more vulnerable, and uh, we have to, yeah, accurate more system, systemic risk because every day we face new challenge, yeah, by climate change. By having to, by what system, yeah, by a lot of, uh, yeah, you know, transparent rules. So, this is actually, we, as the new generation, we try to think what is our new way, yeah, to develop, yeah, greater and Western industrial society. I think this is very important. So, but it is not very easy to work. So we try to. So this is the goal. Today we yes, 
launch this forum. I think every kind of come here in so hard weather. Yeah, so yeah, who will be very strong, you know, hurt to try to change the society, change the Asian society, Asian community, the global, yeah, common global. So let us make everything by ourselves. Okay, thank you very much for joining this yeah, forum. Okay.